Explore 30 Interesting Facts About the Egyptian Pyramids Hello, welcome to our Historical Evidence Channel, in today's unmissable video we will explore 30 interesting facts about the ancient Egyptian pyramids. These facts show that the structures of the Giza Pyramid Complex are true engineering marvels. The site of the best-known Egyptian pyramids, known as the Giza Pyramid Complex, has been the subject of ongoing investigation for more than a century. The area is home to the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Pyramid of Khafre, the Pyramid of Menkor and the Great Sphinx of Giza. Over time, and through archaeological research, the pyramids revealed secrets previously known only to their architects. These are just some of the pyramids in Egypt. From hidden speeds to sapphire toothed saws, these are the most fascinating facts about these engineering marvels. Number 1. The pyramids were once the tallest structures built by man. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Cheops, was built, according to most estimates, between about 2550 to 2490 before Christ. The structure was truly colossal and was the tallest man-made structure for many centuries until the construction of Lincoln Cathedral, with its original tower, in 1311 after Christ. This is an incredible achievement, especially given the ancient Egyptians' relatively rudimentary knowledge of construction and engineering. Even today, building such a structure would be a mammoth engineering task. Number 2. There are actually more than 100 pyramids in Egypt. When you think about the pyramids of Egypt, which ones come to mind? 5, 10. In fact, there are, by some estimates, more than 130, give or take. Not only that, but many experts believe more will be found in the coming years. Why so many were built is hotly debated, but it is clear that they played a very important role in destroying the culture of ancient Egypt. Number 3. The pyramid stones weighed more than an elephant. Would you believe us if we told you that some of the stone blocks used to build the pyramids weigh over 70 tons? The average weight of each of the 2.3 million stone blocks in the Great Pyramid is about 2.5 tons. However, many weigh as much, if not more, than an average elephant. We may never truly know all the details of how these rocks were moved, but some ancient Egyptian documents and wall paintings offer clues. For example, the stones appear to have been maneuvered on sleds, probably over wet sand. However, there is much more to learn, and this continues to be a highly interesting area of experimental archaeology. Number 4. The pyramids are not completely solid. Another fascinating fact about the pyramids is that there is an intricate web of passages, shafts and chambers within and beneath the Giza pyramids. The purpose of these structures is not fully understood, but there are many theories. Number 5. The pyramids were not built by slaves. Contrary to popular belief, the builders of the pyramids were not slaves, neither Israelites nor others. Current research, especially the discovery of records from the time, indicates that the workers were well paid and well fed. It also seems likely that the labor force, as well as food and other essential items, came from all over Egypt. Furthermore, the work was considered highly prestigious, with many workers receiving the honor of being buried in tombs near the sacred pyramids. Number 6. The Great Pyramid was very well built. Although the ancient Egyptians built many pyramids, not all of them have survived intact to the present day. However, examples such as the Great Pyramid and the other pyramids at Giza do. Why? One reason is that the Egyptians got better at building pyramids over time. Some researchers think that the Egyptians were not able to cut the stones precisely enough to make the joints of the earlier pyramids really tight. Over time, moisture entered the joints and expanded and contracted as the climate changed, pulling the stones apart, leading to erosion over time. The Great Pyramid was also built with granite, which tends not to absorb water. The craftsmen also learned how to make tight joints in the casing covering the pyramid, which means the pyramid can shed water rather than absorb it, ultimately preserving it. Number 7. The pyramids appear to be aligned with the stars. The ancient Egyptians appear to have used two constellations to align their pyramids in a north-south direction, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. 
This alignment is so precise that its north-south positions are accurate to within 0.05 degrees. However, it is important to note that the alignment of the stars is constantly changing, albeit at a very slow pace. Number 8. Special Mortar Helped the Pyramid Survive There is an old Arabic proverb that roughly translates as, Man fears time, time fears the pyramids. Part of the reason for the pyramid's survival appears to be the builder's choice of mortar. Analysis showed that a super strong mortar may have been used to fix the stones in place. What's more, a lot of it was used. According to some estimates, around 500,000 tons of mortar were used in the construction of the Great Pyramid alone. Number 9. There are secret doors inside the pyramids. The Great Pyramid contains three main rooms, the Queen's Chamber, the Grand Gallery and the King's Chamber. Egyptologists have recently discovered two tunnels, about 20 centimeters wide, extending from the north and south walls of the Queen's Chamber and they stop at stone doors with copper handles. The doors were recently discovered using a robot. Some believe they may lead to a secret chamber. Number 10. The pyramids used to shine like diamonds. What did the Great Pyramid originally look like? Impressive, if some historians are to be believed. At the time of its construction, the Great Pyramid of Giza was covered with a well-polished cladding of limestone blocks. Some have suggested that when the sun hit the casing, it would have sparkled like diamonds and been visible from many miles away. Over the millennia, most of the blocks were removed and used in other construction projects. Number 11. Not all pyramids were pointy. While the Giza pyramids tend to get all the attention, there are many other equally interesting pyramids in Egypt, including the Step Pyramids. In fact, one of the first pyramids built by the Egyptians can be found in Saqqara and appears to have been built around 4,700 years ago. Built like the tomb of Egyptian King Djoser, it has stepped sides and a flat top. Before this, tombs were built as mastabas, lower structures with a flat roof and sloping sides. In fact, it is believed that Djoser's pyramid began as a mastaba and, for unknown reasons, underwent a series of expansions to create the 200-foot tall stepped pyramid we see today. Number 12. The Giza complex wasn't just for tombs for the pharaohs. The funerary complex surrounding the Great Pyramid of Giza includes two mortuary temples connected by a bridge, tombs for Cheops' immediate family and members of his court, and three smaller pyramids for Cheops' wives. Number 13. The Sphinx may once have been colorful. The huge statue of the Sphinx was built near the Great Pyramid, according to some estimates, 4,500 years ago. He is famous for having the body of a lion and the head of a human. It is believed that his current image is that of Pharaoh Khafre, but this is not always the case. According to some researchers, the Sphinx may have undergone some restorations throughout its life. Residues of red pigments on the face of the Sphinx suggest that the statue may have been painted. Today, most Egyptologists believe that the Great Sphinx was built around 2500 before Christ for Pharaoh Khafre, the builder of the Second Pyramid of Giza. Although its purpose is not fully understood, some theories suggest that it was intended to protect the pyramid. Number 14. The architect of the Steppe Pyramid was later worshipped as a god. Imhotep was one of the first known master architects in history, but he seems to have talent in several areas. His abilities reportedly extended from medicine to astronomy to mysticism. He was a minister of Djoser and the likely architect of Djoser's Steppe Pyramid. He was later worshipped as a god of medicine. Number 15. The Great Pyramid of Giza is heavy, very heavy. The Great Pyramid of Cheops weighs, according to some estimates, an impressive 575,000 tons. To put that impressive number into perspective, the Burj Khalifa weighs a paltry 500,000 tons. The weight of the Great Pyramid is based on the fact that it was built using approximately 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing, on average, 2.5 tons, 2,268 kilograms, each. Number 16. Focusing on the Great Pyramid of Giza. In 1877, Dr. Joseph Cease thought he had found an interesting discovery. 
He showed that the Great Pyramid of Giza is located exactly at the intersection of the longest line of longitude and the longest line of latitude. But, of course, this is not true. The longest line of latitude is the equator, and all lines of longitude are, by definition, the same length. In fact, the pyramid is 30 degrees north and 31 degrees east. Number 17. The Pyramid Survived Demolition Attempts in the 12th century, Sultan Al-Aziz Uthman, son of Saladin and ruler of Egypt, planned to destroy the pyramids of Giza, starting with the Pyramid of Menkor. After eight months and great expense, his workers made very little progress and he was forced to give up. However, this attempted major vandalism left a huge gash in one side of Menkor's pyramid. Number 18. A pyramid took about two decades to build. Building a pyramid on the scale of the Great Pyramid of Giza is no small undertaking, understatement of the year. But how long did it take to build? 100 years? 500? In fact, according to some estimates, it took just 23 years to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. To put that into perspective, Notre Dame took nearly 200 years to complete. Number 19. The pyramids are mostly devoid of hieroglyphs. Whenever people think about ancient Egypt, hieroglyphics are one of the things that are assumed to be present on or within the pyramids. However, that's not the case, at least not for long. Most of the internal areas accessible to the general public of the pyramids are completely devoid of them. However, that all changed in 2011 when researchers finally found some in a secret chamber, thanks to a little help from a robot. Number 20. An estimated 10,000 to 50,000 people helped build the pyramids. Building a structure as large as the Great Pyramid of Giza in just a few decades must have taken a lot of work. Although estimates vary, most modern Egyptologists believe the work was done by a core group of no more than 10,000 to 20,000 experienced workers and support staff. Although this may have expanded to as many as 50,000 in some projects and periods. That's still a lot especially considering that the population of ancient Egypt probably did not exceed 1.5 million. Number 21. The dead were buried with riches. For the ancient Egyptians, the afterlife was a paradise where one could live forever, as long as you went there, of course. For this reason, they believed that the dead would need some of their most valuable possessions on the other side. They buried the dead with more than just the essentials needed in the afterlife, like food and drink. If they were rich enough, jewelry and other valuables would also be included, just in case. Number 22. In the past, we thought the pyramids had more than four sides. In the 1940s, a pilot named P. Groves claimed that the Great Pyramid actually has eight, not four sides. He noticed notches on each side that are very subtle from the ground and only become easily visible from the air. In 1880, Egyptologist Flinders Petrie also noted that the sides of the pyramid are distinctly hollow and that each side has a kind of groove especially in the middle of the face. In fact, a laser scanning survey in 2005 confirmed the existence of the grooves, but they were attributed to damaged and removed stones. Under certain lighting conditions, faces can actually appear split. This has led to speculation that the pyramid was intentionally built with eight sides, but there is no evidence for this. Number 23. An air shaft may have functioned as a star shaft. In the Great Pyramid of Giza, there is an axis that some have argued is aligned with the ancient pole star Alpha Draconis, also known as Thoban. This axis was presumably a design feature of the pyramid during its construction, and its purpose is hotly debated. The axis probably wouldn't have been useful for actually observing the stars, however. This is because they were roughly oriented and large rocks blocked the exit of the well. However, the mystery of the well's true purpose remains. Number 24. Construction tools may have included sapphire toothed saws. Pharaoh Khafre's sarcophagus is a very impressive work of art. Made from black granite, carving and shaping must have required great skill and some very special tools. Some have speculated that the ancient Egyptians used saws with cutting tips made from gems such as beryl, topaz, chrysoberyl, 
corundum, or sapphire. However, most of the tools used were probably made of bronze. Number 25. The pyramids may have been aligned using Nomon. The Great Pyramid of Giza is aligned with the cardinal points, north, south, east and west, although it is slightly counterclockwise. Experts have struggled to explain how this was achieved, as the Egyptians did not have access to a compass. It has been suggested that the Egyptians used the autumnal equinox, when the sun is directly above the Earth's equator and the daytime hours are the same as the nighttime, to achieve this. This may have been done using a tool known as gnomon. Similar to a sundial, the process involves placing a vertical rod in the ground to cast a shadow, and tracing its path, an observer can use a piece of string to draw a line from east to west. The result is very close to the alignment of the pyramid. Number 26. The design of the Great Pyramid of Giza may be based on pi. Some researchers have proposed that the concept of pi may have played a role in the design of the Great Pyramid of Cheops at Giza. First proposed by one John Taylor, he observed that if one divides the perimeter of the pyramid by its height, the resulting value is equal to 2 pi. However, this is considered by most to be just a complete coincidence. Number 27. We still don't really know how they were built. Despite being the subject of countless studies over the centuries, we still aren't sure how these incredible structures were actually built. Although many claims are made of some revolutionary discovery about the process, ultimately these are just theories. This is especially the case given the immense size of the blocks that make up the pyramids. We still don't know exactly how they were shaped, moved, and put into place. Obviously it was possible, but exactly how did they do it? We may never really know. Number 28. Napoleon Bonaparte once claimed that you could build a wall around France from the pyramids. Believe it or not, but when Napoleon Bonaparte visited the pyramids in the early 19th century, he calculated that they contained enough building material to build a wall 1 foot, 0.3 meters, wide and 10 feet, 3 meters, high, around the entire perimeter of France. No one knows how he came to this conclusion, but it was apparently confirmed by one of his employees. Number 29. Each pyramid would cost around $1 billion to build today. Leaving aside the number of workers required, the cost of construction materials, equipment, etc. to make the Great Pyramid of Giza would cost quite a bit today. By some estimates, it would likely cost a little over $1 billion to build similar structures today. That's actually not bad considering that the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, was completed in 2009 at a cost of $1.5 billion. According to estimates, the cost of the limestone needed to build the Great Pyramid would likely have cost $776 million, salaries, travel time, plant rental, etc. costing around $102 million on top of that. Number 30. The pyramids still hold secrets. Although we have learned a lot about these mysterious ancient buildings, they have not yet revealed all of their secrets. Employing the latest in science, researchers recently discovered a large, yet unexplored, chamber inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. By using particle physics, the chamber was shown to be about 100 feet, 30 meters, wide and appears not to have been ravaged by tomb raiders. What awaits archaeologists inside is anyone's guess. The pyramids of Giza truly deserve their honorific title as one of the ancient wonders of the world. So, what did you think of today's video? Did you already know these facts about the Egyptian pyramids? What was the fact that impressed you most? Let us know your thoughts on this topic, as we would love to respond to your comments below. And don't forget to help our channel by subscribing and clicking the bell to receive all notifications. And if you want to enjoy it and learn a little more, be sure to click on one of these videos that we are suggesting for you. Until the next video.